Hello everyone, uh, you'll have to excuse me lying in bed, but I'm not long back from Thailand and my body clock's all over the gaff. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now most recently, Paul Grady unfortunately passed away. So in this video today, we're going to have a look at his cause of death. Now Paul Grady may have been laughing, smiling and full of life shortly before his unexpected death on Tuesday night, but he has had his fair share of health scares in the past, including three heart attacks and kidney failure. He also had a long battle with COVID, reporting being left breathless for months after he contracted the virus while filming in Malta. Interviewed last week on the BBC Radio Scotland while in Edinburgh to perform in Annie, the TV presenter who used to smoke a reported 40 cigarettes a day was asked about his current health. He told the station, Oh, I've had everything chat at me. I'm absolutely fine. Touchwood. The cause of death has not been yet officially identified, but we can gauge from his troubled history with his health issues that this may have led to his passing. So if we take a look at some of the health history that he had, he had a few heart attacks. The first one, which he suffered in April 2002, he was rushed to hospital in London at the age of 46. He underwent a two-hour surgery after he, which he described as comfortable and he was expected to make a full recovery. He gave up smoking after the heart attack and he was previously a heavy smoker both in and out of the hospital. Just over four years later, the TV presenter was back in hospital after he suffered a second heart attack at the age of 51. And after an attack of angina in 2013, Paul O'Grady was also reported to have had a third heart attack in 2014. He previously told the media, my cardiologist says I have the constitution of an ox. Three days after his heart attack, he was back fully working. So this is what he said. He said, the heart is a muscle, so you have two choices. You can either sit on the sofa and count your tablets all day long, or you can get on with it, get moving, swimming and walking and doing gentle exercises. Paul O'Grady's death was announced by his husband. May his soul rest in peace. 